TJ here. Everyone should know by now that I'm prior service Army. Just because I was Army doesn't mean I wouldn't consider or appreciate a thought or a text from another branch of the service. A message or thought so profound that you would uh, be compelled to make it a part of your life. Shortly after the attack on Pearl Harbor at the beginning of World War II, a Marine General by the name of William H. Rupertus, and I sure hope I'm saying his last name correctly, wrote a creed, a belief he wanted to instill in his Marines. The story on it goes, the General was having a conversation with a Captain Robert White on his staff, and he was discussing how he wanted his men to understand, and I quote, that the only weapon that stands between them and death is the rifle. They must understand that their rifle is their life. It must become a creed with them. His captain suggested that he write an editorial. The general believed an editorial would sound too preachy. He wanted and again I would quote the general, he wanted something so deep, a conviction so great, a faith so lasting that no one should have to be preached to about it, end of quote. Thanks in part to the captain on his staff, the general that night wrote what is now known as the Marine Rifleman Creed. This is my rifle. There are many like it, but this one is mine. My rifle is my best friend. It is my life. I must master it as I must master my life. Without me, my rifle is useless. Without my rifle, I am useless. I must fire my rifle true. I must shoot straighter than my enemy who is trying to kill me. I must shoot him before he shoots me. I will. My rifle and I know that what counts in war is not the rounds we fire, the noise of our burst, nor the smoke we make. We know that it is the hits that count. We will hit. My rifle is human, even as I, because it is my life. Thus I will learn it as a brother. I will learn its weaknesses, its strengths, its parts, its accessories, its sights, and its barrel. I will keep my rifle clean and ready even as I am clean and ready. We will become part of each other. We will. Before God I swear this creed. My rifle and myself are the defenders of my country. We are the masters of our enemy. We are the saviors of life. So be it until there is no enemy but peace. Amen. That was the original text of the Marine Rifleman Creed. Thanks in part, I, I think because of Full Metal Jacket, some civilians out there and even perhaps even other servicemen from other branches might view, might view the Marine Rifleman Creed as a some sort of rant of a fanatic marine. I do not. Clearly they missed. They didn't hear the fifth sentence of the creed. It reads, I must master it as I master my life. This creed goes beyond the commitment of one learning how to shoot their weapon accurately. This creed swears to the mastering of our enemies, being the saviors of life until the United States is victorious and there is peace. A few months back I discussed this creed with a Marine recruiter. I was kind of curious about it. And I was, I was pained when he informed me that today, as Marines go through boot camp, it doesn't seem to carry the same weight or significance it did at one time, especially when it was written. I have to assume what the Marine recruiter told me was accurate. 
General William H. Rupertus would be unable to experience the United States victory of World War II. Unfortunately, on 25 March 1945, he would pass away of a heart attack.